Today is July the 30th, and I'm on my way to go fishing. I am fishing Plan B. Plan A was to take a float trip on a local stream, but it rained yesterday. I did not get my yard mowed, and I've got to get that done this afternoon. So I had to shorten my trip, but that's okay because I have another trip that I've been threatening to take now for several days. It involves paddling upstream for about two miles to this special place where there is large boulders in the water. I fished there several years ago, hadn't been back, always wanted to go back. So today I'm going to go up and see those large rocks and see if there's still some smallmouth bass and spotted bass there. Well, my plan B did not work either. When I arrived at the place that I was going to launch my boat, I found the water to be chocolate brown and up a couple of feet. It's rained on the headwaters apparently yesterday, the same rain that hit my house except a lot more of it. And so plan B has to be canceled and I don't have a plan C. Well, I ended up driving 60 miles on my second plan to go fishing this morning. Had to cancel it. Stopped by my house and picked up my cell phone, which I had forgotten. My wife wants me to be sure I have it. And I've now driven 30 miles another direction. I'm going to be fishing a place where two streams run together, and I'm not sure which one of them I'm going to fish make that choice when I get there. The tackle I have is probably not going to be appropriate for fishing here, but it's the best I can do under the circumstances. Anyway, I've been over two hours trying to find a place to fish. Well, after I aborted my trip to the little creek, I decided to drive 30 miles from my house the other direction to this river. This is a pretty good sized river here, and just down the stream from it is a small creek that forks to the right. I don't know whether I'll fish this river or whether I'll fish that creek. The river looks high, so I'm pretty sure it'll be the creek. These are the lures that I had chosen to fish the other place. I have a variety of small crankbaits on this side of my tackle box. On this side of my box, I've got a couple of small buzz baits, a topwater jerk bait, and a little prop lure. That's it. I brought a couple of lightweight spinning rods. One of them has six pound test line, and the other one has four pound test line. So I'll probably catch another big bass and get my line broke, but that's the way I do it. This is a good looking place to fish. This is actually where the big river has backed water up into the little feeder creek. Another half a mile or so up there, I think I can get into more clear water. This is very dingy. 
I've got two or three strikes, but I don't hold much hope for it. I'm going to fish up past that big log sticking out. If I don't catch one, I'm going to paddle up a half a mile or so. Well, I'm going to paddle up about a half a mile. This water is just too muddy where it's backed up from the big river. Uh, I'm going to go upstream till I find some clear water. Hopefully. Well, I came about a quarter of a mile and it's starting to clear up a little. I'm going to fish here, but uh, the jigs are hanging up constantly. I'm going to try some little crankbaits. Got this big drum on a crankbait. Couldn't get anything to hit a jig and I couldn't get him to hit my first crankbait. But he liked that one for some reason. A little chartreuse colored cotton cordell. A little low. This is where the little feeder creek actually comes into the water, backed up by the lake. If I go up another quarter of a mile, I should be able to find some fast water, moving water, I hope. It was a long way up here, but I finally found where the little creek actually comes in. I'm going to put three or four lures in my pocket beach my kayak and walk up there and see if I can catch something out of the little creek. I'm going to leave my kayak, my other rod, and the rest of my tackle here at the kayak. I'm not worried about that because I'm a long ways from where anybody else should be. And I'm going to walk up this little feeder creek and see if I can catch some fish up there. It doesn't have a lot of water in it. All I'm taking with me is some hand-tied little jigs and a float. I threw this in and a good sized fish hit it, threw it out, and then this little guy grabbed it. I'm going to take him off, shorten my leader a little bit because this water isn't very deep, see if I can catch that bigger one. If this little guy learns to stop biting these lures, he'll grow up to be a big fish someday. As I waded in to retrieve my lure from being hung up, I almost forgot that I had my billfold and my cell phone in my pockets. I hooked another nice fish here and then I got hung up. I'm not sure whether my strike indicator is helping or hurting. I'll try it a little bit more and then I'll take it off.
I'm changing my lure color to this little crawdad colored lure. That's what the fish feed on in these rivers. Dark colors seem to always be better than the bright ones. We'll see. I had a friend come walking up here to see what I was doing. She seems to be enjoying watching me fish. The waves that you see over there is from a good sized bass. I threw over and hooked a little fish. The bass took the little fish and they both got off. I caught this little bass and that same big bass came down and took a big boil at it and missed it. I should have brought lures up here instead of my jigs. I'm at least 500 yards from my kayak, but I told this cow if she'd sit right here and watch, I'm going to walk all the way back down there, get me a different lure, and I'm going to come back and catch that bass. I can I can't believe it I can't believe it I walked all that distance down got my lure walked all the way back stood there a few minutes threw it out and on the third cast I got him what a deal what a deal A little bitty creek, not even hardly any water running out of it, and about two foot of water, and there he was. What a thrill. Never expected anything like that in this little tiny creek. You never know what you're going to catch in these small creeks. Well, I'm heading back. It's about a quarter to one, and I've got that yard to mow. This has been one of the worst fishing days that I've had all year, but somehow I feel good about it because I, I caught that bass that I had already pulled around on twice, once on a little bass and once on a little perch, and then went back and picked out the lure I thought would do it, and on a second or third cast, I caught him. That just about made my day. It made lemonade out of the lemon. Kayaks about 500 yards again back down the river. We'll make our way down there and then start paddling. You know, it just occurs to me as I'm walking back, that old cow didn't have much confidence in me catching that bass. She didn't even hang around till I got back. We're heading back. This is the last ripple before the water from the big river backs up. 